holographic imaging limitations. Oh, we don't like limitations. We just don't like it. Um, I certainly don't. This question comes from Herb in Oakland, California, home of the Oaks. Hey, Paul, as much pleasure as I have taken from your comments, thank you, and your advice, I've been feeling discouraged about your recent advice regarding speaker placement and holographic imaging. I'm sorry. Hmm. Between the dimensions of our living room, furniture, and my live-in girlfriend's unfathomable indifference to the joys of stereo, I am limited to racking my components between my speakers. I'm on the verge of buying Cardus Cygnus Interconnects and I'm considering replacing my seven-month-old Niagara 12 conditioner with your Stellar 3 Regenerator, okay? Given my space relationship limitations, should I just give up on imaging and future upgrades, sell my gear, buy a boom box, replace my girlfriend <laughs> with an inflatable model? <laughs> Curious minds want to know. Dang, son, that's good. I like that. <laughs> Let's hope the girlfriend isn't watching. Uh, <laughs> we get some great questions, and I thank you for those. <laughs> well, I'm no, I, no, don't give up. And no, inflatable girlfriends aren't anywhere near as much fun as the, the originals. Um, yeah, my recent advice has, has really set a lot of people up in arms because I have said, if you got a pair of speakers, don't put anything between them. And I, you know, Terry gets really upset with me when I go to extremes of exaggeration to make a point. And, you know, it's just my nature. I, I, I try hard, obviously not hard enough, but I try as hard as I can not to do that, to try and tame my speech down. So let's, so let's talk here. Um, I got a great deal on some inflatable dolls. <laughs> Back of our catalog. When I said you don't want to have equipment between speakers, what I'm referring to is something tall and large that is going to get in the way of our holographic soundstage, okay? So you've got speaker, speaker, and if we have a big stack of equipment right in the middle, there's no room for the musicians to play. But that doesn't mean you can't have any equipment in, in the middle, and this is where this exaggeration thing comes in with my apologies, sir. So if you look at Music Room 1, we've got equipment between the speakers, but it's low. It's way down here. There are amplifiers that, that, you know, when it's down here, when you're this low, it's not going to affect anything. But when you're up, it's going to affect it. If there's a TV right here that's bouncing off, you have problems. So, yeah, I mean, if you can get them low, if you can spread it out a little bit, you'll be okay. So I, I do apologize for the exaggerated, don't do this or you're gonna die now because we want that holographic image. And in order to have a holographic image, something that I will go over through in the audio files guide, which is upcoming, shameless plug, take your speakers out from the wall as much as you can. I recommend from the back of the speaker to the front wall, the wall, behind the speakers, four feet if you can manage it. A little more is great, never more than a third the way into the room, but you wanna just bring those speakers out a little bit into the room to make a, a place for these imaginary holographic musicians to play. So, and, and one of the things that I'm gonna do and that I'm focusing a lot of my writing efforts on in this upcoming book that I'm writing is how to Take whatever you have, whether it's this situation, your situation, because everybody's got something different. I'm going to show you how to make this work in a step-by-step -step thing. And upstairs, we're going to record a whole CD around the audio files guide, which would be great. So you'll be able to take track one, do this, track two, 
make it sound like that. And here's what you do if, if it doesn't work, right? So I, I'm really excited about this. I think this is going to be really cool. So you got a CD, you got a book, and you go through, you know, like, eh, try that. All right, I'm going to try track three. Aha! And I, we've even got something where we've got Jessica Carson and Giselle. I don't know her last name, but they, they are two great singers. And we're going to get them measured three feet from the microphone, and they're going to sing, sing, sing. The microphone stays still. Now they're going to move back six feet, and they're going to sing. And then they'll move back nine feet, and they'll start singing. And you'll be able to hear on your stereo the depth increasing by that same amount after, after I get done with you and show you how to set it up, right? So it's kind of cool. Uh, really looking forward to this. So hope that helps. <sighs> Thank you for the funny question. I do appreciate it. All right. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.